everybody! Welcome back to another video here with your host Virtual Gamer 606. Another video here inside of Minecraft Pocket Edition. Um sorry for not uploading recently. I've just I've just been really sick and I had a and I had a problem with my iPad and recording and editing and stuff, but I got a new iPad, got it all sorted out, so we are back with the daily uploads. Um so today I thought I'd be discussing all the features we know of that will be added in the Minecraft Aquatic update. And, um, yeah, basically all the stuff about that. But before we do get into it, I just want to remind you to please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to show your support and never miss a video. Let's get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys about the update today is there were four mobs that would have been added to Minecraft. And then Jeb gave the community, so all the fans of Minecraft... They had to vote for one of the four mobs, and now I will be showing you first all of the four mobs, and then the mob that's one. So, yeah, the first mob was the Titan Squid. Um, this is basically like a boss squid, you could say, except it was like an evil squid. You could find it deep in the waters. Um, yeah, so here is what it would have looked like. I just have to place it on the glass because that's how like, large it is. So, as you can see, it has this long... Um, oops, this oh, what they, this long tongue thing that's said to grab you and pull you in deeper and into its mouth to drown you. And then these big teeth, these big jaws that will just snap away. And then just some nice details here. And wait, there's a mouth. And there's a mouth. Hmm, it's got two mouths. Oh, that's a little weird. Okay. Here is the video of what Jeb has to say about the Titan Squid. Mike on Earth, you get to vote on Mob A, the monster of the ocean depths. The monster will attack you with its tongue-like tentacle to pull you down and drown you. It spawns in deep waters and uses its large mouth to propel itself forward. You should vote for this mob because the oceans currently don't have that much content and it would make it more exciting when traveling from island to island. The next mob is the Blaze King. So this will basically be found in the nether, obviously. It'll spawn randomly with a bunch of blazes. It is basically a boss blaze. And there it is. So basically, you can see it has these netherrack style themed things as shields. And then it just has like a stick thingy for the neck and the head, I guess. I actually don't know why he's getting damaged, but anyway. Um, yeah, so this is the blaze kit. I think that would be a really nice addition. It also has a special ability called shockwave. And it is said by Jeb that you're going to need some serious fireproof enchantings to survive this thing. Yeah, so here is a short video clip on what Jeb has to say about this mob. During Mike on Earth, you get to vote for mob D, the Hovering Inferno. This is a master blaze, which body parts look like shields that will be used to defend itself. The Hovering Inferno spawns with a group of blazes as a random encounter in the nether. It has a shockwave attack that is very dangerous and you will definitely need some flame protection to defeat this mob. You should vote for mob D because it would make the nether even more scary and exciting. Okay, our next mob is called The Thing. I actually don't think that's the name. You can see the creator of this add-on. By the way, this isn't the real update. This is just an add-on that features what, what the mobs would have looked like. But I'm not sure this is what it's called. I pro He probably didn't know. But anyway, here it is. Um, ignore the sounds, it replaces a big, so yeah. So it's basically, this thing, it said that it opens up its big jaws, and then like puts them in the grounds, and it's attracted to enchantings, or something like that. So if we spawn a bunch of these, yeah, they basically have these tiny legs that they run on, and these big heads. They kind of look like dinosaurs, I have to admit. Okay, yeah, so here is a short video clip on what Jeb has to say about these things. During Mike on Earth, you get to vote for Mob C. The Great Hunger. This cute looking mob has a huge mouth and a great appetite for enchanting powers. It will open its huge jaw and sink into the ground where it camouflages itself. Any mobs or items that fall into its mouth will be consumed. You should vote on this mob because it has some interesting enchanting powers. Maybe you can even use these abilities to your own advantage to add or remove enchantments from your own items. Okay, and last but not least, the Ray. I think this is actually called the monster of the night skies or something like that. 
So it looks a lot like a stingray. There you can see it. Uh, if you punch it, it gets, you get it to fly. So it's said to be attracted towards insomnia. In other words, players that haven't slept in a long time. So basically, if you're really tired, this thing will come in pairs and like bite you or something. I think that's a very nice addition because it's got... Um, it's We don't have any any mobs in the overworld that fly and attack you. I mean, we, the only overworld mob we have that can fly are parrots. Chickens, kind of. So parrots and um, bats, but they are passive. So this is, will be our first aggressive mob. During Mike on Earth, you get to vote for mob B, the monster of the night skies. This manta ray-like monster is a flying creature that spawns at high altitudes. It is attracted to insomnia and will find players who haven't slept for many days. It will swoop down in groups and bite your flesh. You should vote for mob B because there are currently no flying monsters in the overworld. So anyway, these are the three mobs that would have that, um, the four mobs, sorry, that were added that um, sorry that the community had to vote and choose one of. So go down in the comment section and tell me which mob you would have, which one mob you want: the Titan Squid, the Blaze King, the Thing, or the Ray. Like I said, I'm not sure what the um, what the names are. But yeah, so please go down to the comment section and vote for your favorite one. But now I'll be showing you guys and telling you guys who the winner was. The winner is... The Ray, um, the Monster of the Night Skies, Mob B. That is what was chosen to be added into Minecraft. Um, yeah, this is part of the Aqua update, Aquatic update. We'll also be getting a bunch of other features, which I will be going through in a second. But yeah, that is... The Ray, the monster of the night skies. Okay, let's go on to the actual parts of the aquatic update, like the aquatic stuff. See you all then. Okay, guys, so here are some of the new mobs that are also going to be added to the game. Um, one of them that's personally one of my favorites is the tropical, I mean, not that, the dolphin. There it is. So like I said, it is called the Aquatic Update, and obviously they are going to add a lot of stuff to do with the ocean and water and stuff, because it really doesn't have too many stuff at the moment. So here is the dolphin. You can see it looks really nice, and it is busy dying because it does not have water. Um, uh, let's pretend that didn't happen. But no, so that is the dolphin. I'll spawn another one. At the moment, replacing a creeper. Um, yeah, that's a little bit funny. And then here's a bit of the updated version of the ray, which is actually called the Monster of the Night Skies. Also, Mob B. It's really fast, yeah. Okay. And then one of the other mobs is is a fish. It looks a little bit weird, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, it's still cool. And then, uh, but like I said, these are the, just add-ons and pictures, so it might not look exactly as what it is here. There we go, I cannot see anyone die. And then the last one for this add-on is the tropical fish. But then we'll also keep our old fish like the puffer fish and stuff, but that'll also be made into a proper fish like this. Another cool thing that you can do with the fish and the mobs, he decided to leave, uh, so did he, is if, if you see a fish visually swimming, you can take a bucket for a bucket and you can scoop up the place where the fish is and then you'll get a bucket of water with a fish in it. So then you can take it to your house, you can build a nice little tank of um, aquarium and then put it in there. So without like having to destroy the fish or kill it or anything or summoning. Yeah, so there are some of the mobs. One of the other nice things, I'll show you guys a picture now, is um, they're changing the water physics a lot. So instead of uh, making it like with slabs and stuff and stairs, if it's underwater, it has that ugly thing. So basically, they're going to be fixing air pockets and just the way that water works, just to make it a little bit better and more realistic. So those are some of the mobs. Okay, guys, another thing that we are getting in the aquatic update, and I'm super excited for this, is we are getting a new weapon. So for a long time, Minecraft has had quite a few weapons. But, I mean, it's kind of getting boring and stuff, so now we got a new weapon. So we had all our swords. We had the wooden sword, the stone sword, iron sword, gold sword, and uh, diamond sword. But now we got a new one called the trident. This is replacing the bow just for this. Oh, yeah, we also had the bow as a weapon. So basically, the trident, it'll only work underwater and in the rain. 
basically you can use it as a melee weapon so just use this innocent slime here there we go you can use it as a melee weapon but you can also throw it but the only problem with throwing it is once you throw it you've lost it the weapon is gone unless you use one of the new enchantments that's also coming with the water aquatic update called loyalty so basically if you throw it instead of it just dying and you losing it it'll come back to you so just as an example once again this is just an add-on so this is just featuring plus minus what it's going to be like let's try and get the chicken oh we missed no we still missed oh god come on yeah okay so yeah, this is the trident i think it's really cool i'm not sure what the crafting recipe is going to be for anything but yeah i think I'm, I'm really excited to find out so yeah this is the new weapon that we are getting in the game okay guys so now i'll just be showing you some clips of some of the other stuff we will be getting in the aquatic update one of the other things is instead of items just sinking when you throw them in they will now be floating we will be also getting i don't know like air bubbles i think that's what they call them and then shipwrecks Wow, that's so cool. Anyway, guys, that is most of the aquatic updates covered. As soon as the actual update comes out, I will be doing a video showing everything about it in that video. But before I leave, I just do want to remind you guys to please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to show your support and never miss a video. Let's try aim five likes. With that said, I hope to see you guys all in the next video tomorrow. Bye!